Howdy everyone and welcome back to the French Cooking Academy. Now let me start by saying thank you to the new subscribers. This has been a huge surge of subscribers on the channel and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter link in the video description and via that newsletter you're going to be able to receive all my videos every single week by email. You also get some news and some big announcements coming soon, just saying. Now for today what are we going to learn? Mushrooms, mushrooms and mushrooms. How to make a tasty, creamy forest mushroom sauce. And we don't want that sauce that have the mushroom but miss the taste of the mushroom. And I see this a lot. So what we're going to do, we're going to use three types of forest mushroom. We're going to pan fry them first with some shallots and then mix it with cream stock to really get this flavor going and serve this with a beautiful organic pan-fried rabbi steak and when the sauce is ready we're just going to pour plenty of it over the steak and we're ready to eat and tell you what i haven't eaten yet so i can't wait to start the recipe <laughs> let's go all right so let's have a look at the ingredients so of course all the ingredients will be listed in the video description uh -huh. so there's uh, some common thing like the cream the shallots and there's a bit of stock as well uh, but the most important is this, the mushrooms. And the big hurdle that a lot of people find uh, when you buy forest mushroom is like, how do you usually prepare them? Now, let me tell you the biggest enemy in mushrooms is sand. And this is the typical example of something that's been picked. And this is a sep, a uh, bole uh, in French. As you can see, it's really fresh. And look at this, it's full of dirt and full of uh, you know, particles and scent, so we're going to have to clean this. Now, going from the easiest to the most difficult, so the easiest one, like a button mushroom like this, there's not much to do. You can just, uh, we're just going to cut the end bit, uh, here, and boom, rinse them a little bit and you're done. I've got some grey chanterelle here, and same thing here, they're pretty clean. Huh? So it's just going to be a matter again of trimming them off a little bit, uh, and having a quick rinse again under the water. Mushroom like the sep, they tend to really absorb water a lot. Uh, so what you have to do is really first off trim at least that way. You remove a large portion of the mushroom. I know it sounds like a waste, but a lot of, a lot of time in mushrooms you need to get rid of you know, the obvious dirty. You keep the good stuff, okay? And that's going to be basically brushing the mushroom either with a, like a kitchen uh, you know, pastry brush or you can use something like this to start with. So you're going to do this over your sink and basically give your mushroom first a nice clean like this. Just get off all the dirt, all the stuff. And then you're going to do a quick uh, running water and rinse it very quickly. Don't leave it and don't soak it in water. Uh, it's just a rinse. Uh, and as it comes for uh, trimming the stuff and cutting mushrooms, uh, I really recommend this open air knife. I'm not affiliated, but I, you know what? I love this knife to work with mushrooms and anything forest. That thing is always sharp and it just works. It's just a magic, it's like a magic knife, honestly. If you can ever get one, you will never separate from it. But now, let me wash this, do the food preparation, and then we'll put on the stove. Right, so I've cleaned and cut my mushrooms uh, and I've put them in order like this and we're just gonna uh, fry them in a bit of shallot and a bit of butter. That's it. I'm not gonna refrain from putting any salt and pepper right off the bat because, you know, there's a sauce, there's gonna be other ingredients, the steak and things, so the seasoning is gonna come last. Okay, let's start off. So we're just gonna start by melting the butter first and then adding the shallots. Alright, so I'm using a medium to high heat, uh, more medium than high. And just basically, uh, we're going to sweat the shallots a little bit, but we want still a pretty hot butter. Okay, so there's some nice fragrance coming out of there. And this is when you know, it's, you know it starts to be good. I'm going to start with the, uh, the sep a little bit, see how they, they don't render too much water. And then I'm going to add the other ones. All right, a few one or two minutes, you shake them. And just use your hand with the, uh, you know, the pan like this. And now I'm just going to add the other ones. They seem to be all right, fresh. Let's make a big pan of mushrooms. So I'm just making sauce for two and I'll give you the instructions for the ingredients for an amount of sauce for four people. Now cooking time, because this is a sauce, it's not like pan fried mushroom, right? So you don't want, you don't want them totally dry, but I just want them to start to render a little bit of their natural water. So just remove the excess. 
But I still want to keep them, you know, a bit moist before I add the cream, huh? because we want this kind of mushroom essence, and that's what we want in the sauce. This is where the taste of the mushroom is going to come from. If they are totally dry, you're going to lose some taste. So you want to have a little bit of moisture like this, not excessively, as you can see here. Yeah? It's nice and moist. Now, very simple, as you can see, uh, lovely mushrooms, and immediately I'm going to add my cream, mm. and I'm going to wait for this to come to the simmer, and we're going to start to reduce our cream gently and let this mushroom infuse with the cream and this is the base of your sauce huh? get some taste going before we add some of the reduced stock in there all right so here we are the cream it's going to be 10 minutes cooking time medium heat and you want to keep it tight you want that nice kind of consistency you want the, the flavor to get concentrated and the further you reduce the further that mushroomy taste is going to come in okay so this is it look this is the kind of consistency I've got. As you can see, it's still flowing, but it's kind of thick. And I'm going to use that reduced stock, which is more of a demi-glace. Huh? And I'm going to start putting in that some, sometimes can be a bit salty. So you want to go easy. So I'm just going to use my pan like this and mix everything. So once the stock is in, same thing. We're going to bring this to a simmer and I'm going to taste and see for the seasoning what we do. A little bit salty, I'm going to keep the salt for the end, but definitely a good grind of black pepper. Mm. And I'm going to leave this again to reduce a little bit and to get a bit, a bit more of a brownish color. All right, so look at this. It starts to get nice and brown. Now let's me start the steak, I think we're almost there. All right, let's do this. Now I'm using my favorite pan when it comes to like pan sauce and you know, you can do everything in that saute pan. It's like you can cook steak and make sauce and everything. I'll show you why in a bit. Uh, but the only thing is I think my um, butcher went crazy. But look at that steak. <laughs> it's huge. Anyway, I'm using a mix of butter and oil. And hopla! Put that steak in. And that's going to take a good, good three or four minutes on each side. That's pretty thick. Look at that. Just wanted a bit a bit medium rare kind of kind of cooking but have a look all right so it's about one and a half minutes to get some color going turn it around okay another turn we're almost done okay it's been almost five minutes I think we're done and warm it up a little bit on that side yeah I'm gonna reserve this on a plate put a foil on it and then we're going to continue our sauce, show you what we're going to do. And now what I like to do with my sauce is this. Get all the juices at the last minute from the steaks into my sauce just before serving. And that is going to really, you know, get all the caramelized juice off the pan. So very, very low heat as soon as this is reducing. And that's giving me that last reduce and I'm going to be done. I can almost turn the heat off now. I'm going to be ready to serve that sauce. Okay, let's have a closer look. See what I mean? See what was brown at the bottom of the pan? That's all gone. And that's gone in the sauce. And what I'm going to do now... <laughs> oh, look at these mushrooms. I'm just going to taste this. Wow. Wow. I'll just say wow, <laughs> it's got that wow factor, it's mushroomy, it's thick, there's got that meat taste into it, and the salt that I had in the steak went into my sauce here, so there's not even need to add anything. I'm just going to add a hint of parsley on the top of the steak. Let me see how we're going to serve this. Now, needless to say, this is for carnivores. I've just added a little bit of garnish, and I like to have my steak you know, pretty rare, and basically, I've got my steak here, a tiny bit of garnish, and we're just gonna phew, have a look at this beautiful steak. Again, the open nail knife. Yeah, it's got a nice pinkish color. I oh, love it when it's like this. All right, I had to change the camera angle because otherwise you won't see anything. But basically, I'm gonna be really covering this in my special sauce. And this is a forestier sauce forest mushroom type of sauce. You can't even see the steak on there, that's what I love. And I just like to sprinkle, you know, it's really just a little bit of parsley. And that's again a kind of a bistro style. 
in these guys, uh, you've got the steak on here and you've got plenty of sauce. Now, of course, and we can't get around with, look at all, all these mushrooms and going the sauce. And you can dig in with your steak and ooh, it's, a, it's just a beautiful quality steak. And you can pick and choose your type of mushroom. This is the sep, the sauce, a bit of parsley maybe. And look at this big piece of mushroom. Let's try that. Wow, again, that's like having a forest on your plate. <laughs> it's beautiful. Sorry about the presentation. I know some, uh, no, normally you would have to see the steak, but I just really like that bistro style that we find in Lyon sometimes. This is the real hearty types of food. But basically, that's how to make the sauce. It's the most important. And the steak is a secondary thing. But for today, this is the steak with the sauce forestier. Wow, now this is great. Now it is the end of the recipe, guys. And this is the sauce forestier, how to make that forest mushroom sauce the classic way. If you want, you can add a bit of garlic for some accent, even uh, alcohol like spirits, cognac or armagnac to the sauce. And you can flambe the steak for something more fancy. But in a nutshell, this is how you make it. Now, if you have any question about that recipe, please use the comment section on YouTube. You can contact me on Facebook, send me a message on Instagram and send me your pictures as well on Instagram. French Cook uh, Academy, this is the name of the Instagram account. You can also become a patron on my Patreon page and join the newsletter to get all my videos every single week. Now, I wish you all a very good week and I'll see you all next time. Take care all. Bye-bye.